Hi everybody, this is Mr. Troy. I've got a video for you on writing equations of lines. Today we're going to focus on parallel lines. We've got some goals for this lesson. They are to compute slopes for parallel lines and be able to write the equations of parallel lines. Here goes. So parallel lines are defined as lines that will never touch. And if we look at the red and the blue line on the board, we can see that they are lines that never touch. So I ask you, what is the logical consequence if you draw two parallel lines on a sheet of graph paper? So I did it. Here's some parallel lines on a sheet of graph paper. What's the logical consequence? Look at our smiling friends up there. All right, so here's the entire lesson in one sentence. Here we go. Parallel lines have the same slope. If we look up here, we can see that we have a slope of 2 tenths, which is 1 fifth. And the same thing here. So parallel lines have the same slope. Lines that don't have the same slope aren't parallel. So, uh, a couple things here. Write equations for these pairs of lines. Uh, the blue line, y equals x plus 7. So we know the red line is going to be y equals x. And the only thing that's changing here is the y-intercept. So this one is y equals x minus 5. On the next uh, graph here, example 1b, we've got y equals 3x minus 1. I can see that I'm shifting it downwards, and I have a new y-intercept of negative 8. So everything stays the same, except that y-intercept. So the slope is the same, we just have a different y-intercept. Okay, example 2. Write the equation of a line that passes through negative 3 comma 2 and is parallel to the line y equals negative 4x. So once again, parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm going to isolate my slope. And then I'm going to see what other information I have. Uh, looks like here the other information I have is this point, negative 3 comma 2. So I'm just going to write an equation in point slope form. And that is a line that is parallel to the given line and also would pass through negative 3, 2. All right, write the equation of a line that passes through 5, 0 and is parallel to the line going through 3, 1, 6, 10. So here we actually have to compute a slope. We're going to rely on what we learned earlier. We've got x1, y1 and x2, y2. So the slope of the line we were given, the slope between these two points, is 10 minus 1 over 6 minus 3, which is 9 thirds, which is 3. So that line is increasing. It has a slope of 3. That's the only information we need to take from those two points. We're done with them now. Now we're going to move on to the point 5, 0 with a slope of 3. So y equals 3 times x minus 5. And normally we would put our y coordinate there, but we don't have one. So this is the equation of our parallel line. And here we are in the home stretch. Write the equation of a line that passes through negative 6, negative 7 and is parallel to the line given by the table. So I've got a linear table here. Um, it has fractions in it, but don't worry because fractions are our friends. And our strategy is to remember that a table is a collection of points. So I'm going to take the two points that I think are easiest. 
and I'm going to do my slope. Now my slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I've labeled the points that way. Uh, some people have trouble with tables like this because they're not straight up and down. So just remember uh, to check out where your x and y are. So I picked these points because if I'm going to work with fractions, I want to work with as nice of fractions as I can. And I picked ones that already have a common denominator. So 2 and 7 eighths minus 1 and 7 eighths is just 1. So I've got 1 over 8 as my slope. Now that I know that, I get to completely forget about my table. My table is done. So I'm going to write the equation that has a slope of 1 eighth and the point negative 6, negative 7. That looks like this. y equals 1 eighth times x plus 6 minus 7. All right, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.